What separates the top 1% of traders from the remaining 99% of traders is how they think when they are in a trade and how they handle their emotions when they trade, which is exactly why I've choose to put the uncensored section in front in this uncensored episode. So I'll cover the charts later and show you guys a smart money trading strategy which involves using fair value gap, premium and discount later is a very, very good trading strategy. But you have to wait, all right? Because what matters is your trading psychology, which is what I'm going to cover right now. Now, the truth is anyone, any Tom, Dick, Harry can become good at analyzing the chart. They can be an expert in reading chart patterns, candlestick patterns. Anyone can learn technical analysis over the weekend. But the thing is, not everyone is a profitable trader. So what's missing here? You can become a millionaire trader. You can truly live in the house that you have always dreamed of and drive the nicest sports cars that you always wanted. But trust me, you must believe me when I say that in order to get what you want, you must start thinking and trading like the top 1%. The top 1% of traders, they focus on the present moment not the past. So what does it mean to focus on the present moment? Basically, you should not take a loss to heart. In my second year of trading, or is it third year of trading? I can't really remember, but I think second year. So I have been trading very, really well for the past few weeks, right? And then I start taking a trade and I end up losing about $500 on this single trade. So at that point of time, I was already like kind of profitable. So $500 is like kind of not, nothing to me. Not really nothing, but like it's like, it's like, it's just like a little pinch on your hand, you know what I mean? So I ended up losing $500 on that day. And I felt like shit because I committed some trading mistakes like forcing trades, right? I wasn't supposed to take that trade, but because on that day, on that particular day, I felt like, you know what? I want to make money. I want to make money today. So I went onto the charts and tried to force trades, even though there was absolutely no opportunities. I end up still taking a trade. And as you know, if you force a trade, even when there's no opportunity, you lose money, as simple as that. So I end up losing $500 on that day in the morning. And then in the afternoon, during the London session, I started seeing some trading opportunities. But a part of me is kind of like hindering me and holding me back and telling me that, hey bro, you lost this trade this morning. You are incompetent. You are not a good trader. The next trade that you take, you will probably lose it too. See, that's the thing. You must shut that Jeffrey mind out and start focusing on the present. So on that particular day, on that particular afternoon, I told myself that, you know what? Forget it. The past is the past. So I lost the trade in the morning, right? So what? That's the past, right? What matters is I learned from the mistake. And after I learned from my mistake, from the loss that I had in the morning, I just moved on from it, right? I did not let it affect my entire trading day or my entire trading week, right? I did not let it cloud my judgment. So I end up still taking a few trades in the afternoon, right? And I'm still making a few trades in the afternoon and follow my proper risk management plan and actually trade when there's like multiple confluences and basically like do what a good trader does. And I ended up making over $8,000 on that particular day itself. You see, if I let the loss in the morning affected me the entire trading day, affected my morale, affected my mentality, affected my lock-in, if I let the loss burst my bubble, my focus, I would have made $8,000 on that day. And the reason why I love telling this story so much is because that day was one of the most memorable day in my entire trading career. Because, come on, I made $8,000 in a day. Who the hell does that at 19 year old? And that is all because I focused on the present moment and I did not let the past loss affect it me and affected my trading focus in the present moment. So by focusing on the present moment, you are literally focusing on what the charts are telling you instead of letting your mind control you and impose your thoughts onto the market. So a lot of times when after a losing streak or after we lost a trade, 
we will see an opportunity on our charts and decided not to take it because we are afraid. We might be afraid that this trade, if lost, will hurt me more. And that is a very bad mindset that you need to get rid of. Okay, so there's another guy, okay? Let's call him Tom. So Tom messaged me telling me that he's tempted to take profit. Okay, he's tempted to take his profit because he had a poor trading day yesterday. Okay, so he lost about 150 points. He said that he read the markets poorly and the trade just did not work out, right? So basically, he just lost 150 points. And then he said that if he closed his trade right now, the current trade that he's in right now, he can make up for the lost trade that he had the previous day. So he can like break even and recover a lot of the points that he lost yesterday, which is the 150 points, right? Now, here's what I told Tom. I think you are trading yesterday experience. You haven't wiped your mind slate clean. You are not present. You are still like focused on the past. You are trying to get to an emotional equilibrium where it will make you feel better about yourself that you did not lose money. You actually broke even. You are in a state of imbalance because you are unable to shake the loss from yesterday. You are not just, you are not, you are not present, bro. As a result, you are not judging the trade on its own merit, but on the merit of a past trade. You are not seeing the world as it is. You are seeing it as you are. I understand that if you close the trade right now, it will make you feel better. But remember, we are not trading to break even. We are trading to make money. Just think about that for a moment. We are not trading to break even. We are trading to make money. So do not take a win to your head and do not take a loss to your hearts. I posted a screenshot of my charts on Twitter and my Telegram group chat and I had a lot of people asking me to make a video covering this trading strategy, this beautiful trading strategy that I just discovered, right? So it's basically the strategy of using fair value gap and using your premium and discount matrix or rather your Fibonacci, right? So I've already covered what is fair value cap in the last uncensored trading episode, so I'm not gonna cover it again, but basically it's when there's like a lot of aggression in a move like this. So you can see huge candlestick right there, and then this creates like a little fair value gap, like somewhere right around here. So this is a little fair value gap. There's a lot of inefficient liquidity somewhere right around here. So now, what I wanna do first is to identify my fair value gaps. So I can see there's a fair value gap somewhere right around here, somewhere right around here. So after you've identified your fair value gap, if you know how to trade fair value gap, you will know that you want to wait for price to come back down to the fair value gap. And then that is when you can potentially enter for a buy and watch price goes up, go to the moon, right? But in this case, we want to add another confluence onto it. And that is what I like to call the premium and discount matrix, which is this beautiful thing right here. Okay, this beautiful thing right here. So this is what we call the premium and discount matrix. So basically, premium and discount matrix is very, very simple, okay? It's basically buy low, sell high. So you want to buy when price is at a discount and you want to sell when price is at a premium, right? So basically, right now, how the premium and discount matrix works is that essentially it's literally acting as a Fibonacci level, something like a little Fibonacci. So this is the premium zone. So somewhere around here is premium zone. So you want to be selling at this zone. And then this is the discount zone. So you want to be buying at this zone, right? So in this case, what we can do is that right now, after drawing out my premium and discount, like I said, you draw it like your Fibonacci. So drag it from the swing low to the swing high, like somewhere right around here. So after dragging it onto my charts, I want to wait for price to come down to the discount zone so that I can buy at a discount, right? If you think about it, when you go to the supermarket, you are always looking for discounts. You go to Walmart, you see that nice shoes at a 50% discount. That is very, very tempting for you to buy. So same thing applies here. You want to buy at a discount, buy low, sell high, right? So we want to buy when price is in this discount range, this blue zone right here. So at this point of time, I'm waiting for two things. Price to come down to this, this discount zone so that I can enter for a buy. And the second thing is that I want to wait for price come back down, retest this fair value gap that we have drawn earlier and then go back up. Then that is when we can buy. So we want these two confluences to line up. 
once they line up, we can easily execute a trade. So at this point of time, I'm still going to be waiting, waiting, and waiting, you see it right, right now. At this point of time, this is when prices came back down to your fair value gap. So at this point of time, you can easily enter for a buy somewhere right around here. You can either take profit at your uh, premium zone somewhere right around here or at the next key level, which could be all the way uh, up here, all the way up here. There's a little key level right here, right? Yep. So at this point of time, very, very simple trade right here. You can see price actually retested the fair value gap again and then ultimately went up to smash our take profit. Very, very simple concept, all right? You just need to combine your fair value gap, which I've taught you in the last Uncensored Trading episode, and also your premium and discount matrix. Basically, premium and discount matrix actually works like the Fibonacci, right? If you look at it, if you look at a normal Fibonacci, right? Let's say you drag it from here to here. Change it back to my normal Fibonacci, please. You can see right here. Normal Fibonacci, the 50% level is essentially this 0 0.5. Okay, this is basically the same thing. So if you know, when we use our normal Fibonacci, we are waiting for price to come back down to the retracement level, which could be the 50%, 61.8%. And then we see signs that it's going to go up. Then that is when we can enter for a buy. Yeah, so essentially it's kind of like the same thing, you know. The more I learn about smart money trading concepts, the more I realized that it's actually quite similar to price action trading, right? Price action trading is just much more simpler and easier to understand. So ultimately, find out what works for you. It could be smart money or price action. Whatever works for you, go ahead and use that particular strategy, all right? Another thing for you to note is that when you look at this premium and discount matrix, right? Sometimes price can retrace to beyond the 0 0.5. So it can go all the way down here and then go up, all right? There's no like such thing that it will definitely go to this 0 0.5 level and then immediately bounce up. No such thing. Alright, price can go all the way down here and then pump up. And by the way, it is very good to use when the market is consolidating. You can see in this example right here, the market is consolidating and if you draw your premium and discount matrix like somewhere right around here, cover this consolidation right here, you can see it's very, very easy to trade consolidation now because now you know that when price is at a premium, you should be selling. So this is the premium zone, right? So you should be selling somewhere right around here. And then when price gets down to your discount area, which is here, you should be buying. So in this case, you can see there's a demand zone somewhere right around here. And at the same time, it's also a discount zone, right? Somewhere right around here, buyers are going to be buying at a discount. And along that, there's demand zone around here. There's also buyers trying to buy at this level easily. Both of a confluence easily end up a buy here, take profit at this premium level somewhere right around here, right? Very, very simple concept, but it's very effective. Now, same thing right around this area here. I've identified like a fair value gap, like somewhere right around here. And then I can also draw my premium and discount matrix like from here all the way up here to this swing height. And you can see at this point of time, price literally retrace all the way back down to your 0 0.5 level right here reaching the discount zone and then bounce back up and at the same time it's also a fair value gap that we have created right here you can see after price coming down here bounce back up same thing around here right another fair value gap could be created like somewhere right i'll say somewhere right around here there's a fair value gap somewhere right around here and you can see price starts to go up, come back down to this fair value gap, and then go back up. You can see right here, somewhere right around here. And right now, I would say like gold is kind of consolidating right now. So it's a very good opportunity for you to use your premium and discount matrix right here. So you can see right now, price is coming back down to this fair value gap that we have drawn. And it's also at a discount, right guys? It's at a discount. Both of these confluence lines up. So over the next few days, you could be seeing gold bounce up, right? Depending on what gold does over the next few days, honestly, no one can ultimately predict where the market is going to go. I've read somewhere that no one knows how the big banks, the market manipulates, does the billionaire traders, how they trade. But ultimately, just remember that it doesn't matter what trading strategy you use as long as it helps you make money. That's the most important thing ever. If you find this video helpful, make sure you smash on that like button and hit on that subscribe button because we are releasing uncensored trading episodes just like this one every single 
week. And if you want to learn more about fair value gaps and another smart money trading strategy that I use, you can check out this previous Uncensored episode right here. So click on this video right here to find out more. And remember, you are just one trade away.